Good morning. I have what might sound like an odd question. Does anyone know what month it is? <laughs> June. That's like the fifth one. Let me level with you here. The last thing I remember was falling into a river. And that was on December 31st. <laughs> Someone must have fished me out and brought me here, but I don't suppose I'll ever know who my mystery savior was. The only thing they left behind was this cryptic note. <laughs> Has anyone seen this woman? <laughs> now, I know what you're all thinking at all times due to my psychic abilities. <laughs> You're thinking, oh, the puff, my fave. <laughs> but it isn't dressed like some kind of beastie or creature. Did something happen? And while I would love to tell you that this was all a part of my grand plan to make y'all get, to make y'all see this as dainty and minimal, <laughs> I'm afraid that something much darker has transpired. I'm just itchy. <laughs> No, no, my friends, I have just experienced my first New Year's Eve in London. <laughs> my first human New Year's, actually. We, have, we don't talk about that enough. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I'm not from around here. I'm from kind of like a nightmare forest. <laughs> Who among you has experienced a London New Year's before? Yeah. That's quite a few of you. One of you might have warned me. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I love New Year's and all of its traditions. The heavy drinking, the circle dancing, the ritual slaughter of the fatted goat in tribute to the noble sun. <laughs> but, but I didn't want a New Year's like I could have at home. I wanted a modern London New Year's experience. So I took a lap around London, easy, couple of days. I took a survey. I asked Londoners what their favorite uh, cultural New Year's traditions were. And most people said something along the lines of, no, I'm sorry, I don't have any money. <laughs> Other traditions included New Year's resolutions, which we also do, it's just more like a deal you make with a ghost. <laughs> Watching the fireworks, which, yeah, Londoners, fire still works in winter. <laughs> In fact, I would say that's when it's at its most useful. And my favorite, of course, a New Year's kiss. All right. So I followed up on that one. I asked where I could find a fine gentleman to experience such a cultural tradition with at this time of night. And so people directed me to a very underground club called Heaven. Some of you in the front row seem to be very familiar with Heaven. If you're unfamiliar, like me, you might be picturing a lovely oasis in this urban sprawl. It's actually more like the Catholic heaven. And I'll explain, it's difficult to get into. Everyone's judging you while you're there. And my friends, it is crawling with heterosexuals. Now, I'm, some, I'm sure some gay people do go to heaven, the nightclub, not the Catholic one. None of us are seeing that. But for the life of me, I could not find a single one there. It was people's straight boyfriends, as far as the eye could see. And I have no issues with straight boyfriends. Some of my favorite non-binary people have straight boyfriends. <laughs> And, and I'm included in that. I have had a straight boyfriend. That's why I can make this joke. I, too, have suffered. But one thing straight boyfriends do tend to have is a lot of free drugs that they like to give out to gay clowns in need that they pass on their travels. So I had a lovely time at heaven, actually. I did leave pretty quickly, though. I'm sorry any heaven fans in the audience. <laughs> I've got him. Sorry, sorry any... Uh, 
Sorry any heaven fans in the audience, but if I wanted to spend my New Year's in a dank cave surrounded by terrible noises and people who won't show me physical affection, I would go home for the holidays. <laughs> At least they'll sell me food there. <laughs> so the next thing I know, I'm outside of heaven. I know this because I remember standing in a crowd where, and I didn't know this, I would experience the most stressful 15 seconds of my life. It all started with these sinister fucking chimes. And they were loud too, I did not enjoy those. And then, in unison, the crowd started counting down. Which is the scariest direction to count. <laughs> Since the NHS won't give me real therapy for what I experienced last night, I mean six months ago, I guess. I'd like to ask for your help in reenacting my trauma live on stage. This is what you spend those six pounds for. So I'm gonna hold up the fingers. You guys do the numbers, okay? Everyone, everyone get it? Let's give it a test run. Good, you can count. All right, so here we go. Are they counting down? Yeah. They're counting down. Six. What could they be counting down to? Five. I knew it would happen this Four. way. My mother told Three. me it would. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why did I choose Four. to be gay? Yeah. And my relief at hearing Happy New Year as the end to that extremely ominous countdown <laughs> was immediately undercut. When I looked up, and saw that the sky seemed to be setting itself ablaze. <laughs> and so, I did what any rational person would do when the chimes of Armageddon sound. The sky is alight with holy fire. And that pill from earlier is really not sitting right. I jumped into the river. I know, crazy, right? Much crazier than the Brits deciding to usher out the new year by symbolically burning it down, which Explains Brexit, I guess. <laughs> and so, it was there, in the icy grip of the Thames, that I remember having my last thought before I wake up here. <laughs> and that is the thought of how I have fucked this whole New Year's up. <gasps> I know, I went out to experience a cultural tradition and I didn't get any, I'm just damp. <laughs> But then I realized, maybe that's the true meaning of New Year's. <laughs> deep, deep regret. <laughs> and then I realized that I could channel that regret and finally fulfill a New Year's tradition. I, the poof, sopping wet, freezing perhaps to death, tragically unkissed, face the New Year with a resolution of my own. I say I will suck the marrow out of this new year. I won't waste a single second. I will take this year by the horns, and it all starts today, January 1st. <laughs> I mean, it all starts today, June 1st, right? Fifth. <laughs> Man. There's props in this hat, I just know it. <laughs> June 5th, 2020. <laughs> I, mu I must have missed a lot. 